jQuery allows you to simply hide and show elements on the fly using a number of different methods. You can show, hide, fade, and slide. Now let's start with show and hide, but before we do that, I have an HTML page here that I set up. You can go ahead and download that from the course files that you downloaded at the beginning of the jQuery section. I just called it hideshow.html. If you're hardcore and you wanna just copy this out and type it, then you're free to do that, but you're gonna to have to pause and uh, you know do all that sort of stuff. But I suggest just downloading it from the final course files. Now, I also did some basic styling in the styles.css. At the bottom here, I got hiding and showing jQuery lecture. Um, I really just added the hidden class here. There's, there isn't really much styling uh, that I've added. And then in the script.js, this is where we're going to do some of our jQuery hide and showing sort of stuff. So like I said, we're going to start with show and hide. So let's just select the level one heading and I'm going to say hide. So save that and check it out in the browser. So we have our level one heading. Now if I refresh, it is now hidden jQuery hid the H1 element. Now I can also do something like this. Now I'm just going to comment this out. And now I can show by simply selecting, I'm gonna select the div with a class of hidden because that's something I've already set up and show. So now I can show that element that has already hiding. So refresh, you who I'm hiding, there we go. Now you can also use different fading methods as well. So you can show and hide very simply, but you can also do something a little bit more graceful using fade in and fade out. And that looks like this. So I'm going to select the paragraph tag and fade um, out. Save that and we'll see what happens here. So you see the paragraph tag faded out. I'm going to try again. You see how it's fading out when I refresh? There we go. So there's that. I can also do fade in. Now, because the div of the class of hidden is in fact still hidden, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make it fade in. There you go. Now, these methods also allow you to add parameters uh, in the parentheses to decide how long you want the fade in or out, uh, how long you want that to last. So I could say fade in over uh, eight seconds. And you can see it's very, very slowly fading in until it's full opacity right here. Now, there is another fade method that is a little bit different than fade in and fade out. There is actually the fade to method, which lets you adjust the opacity of elements, whereas fade in and out toggle between 0 and 100% opacity. And that looks a little bit like this. So I'm going to do a click here. So I'm going to say box 1 and then click function and here's our function and in here I'm going to say this fade to and then in parentheses here the first parameter is the uh, how long you want it to last so you can use uh, a numerical value like 2000 or you could use something like in strings slow or fast but I like being specific so I'm just gonna say 2000 milliseconds and then comma, the next parameter is the opacity you want it to fade to. So I'm going to say 0 0.75. So 75% of its current opacity. And then comma, and then function, open and close that parentheses. And then here is simply what happens when the animation is complete. You can add uh, some code here or run a function or do whatever you want. But uh, you can leave it empty if you don't need it to anything. But that's part of the uh, of the syntax for the fade to method. So let's save that. And now we're going to have to make sure we have a box one element. Uh, there we go. We have div ID box one. So I'm going to make sure this is all saved and let's go back to our browser and see what happens. So we have a box. It has no styling. Uh, so why don't we just give it some styling? Uh, I'll add it to the final course file so that you won't actually have to do this part of the lecture, but I'm just going to say box one. Uh, there we go. Simple box, 100 pixels high and wide, uh, background color white, and border. There we go. We have our box. Now I'm going to click it. You can see that it went down to 25% less opacity. So it went to 75%. So let's make that a bit more dramatic so you can see it happening a little bit easier. I don't know if it's easy to see on the screen there as a recording. So I'm going to go down to, say, uh, I don't know, 25%. Now let's save that. Refresh. Now if I click this. You can see it's faded to 
of its current opacity. So that is how fade two works. Now, if this, this in CSS was 25% opacity, and then you used fade to 100%, that's what that would do, it would fade to 100% from 25. And so that is how the fade to works. And you can also use slide methods. So let's look at slide up and slide down. Now from slide up and slide down, the, basically the way that they are different is uh, they're kind of like hide and show. Slide up is for a currently visible element and it will make it disappear by sliding up. Slide down is for an element that is disappeared or is not on the screen or hidden and it will slide it down into view. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, I'm gonna actually just do it right here in the animation complete function from that click. So let's start with, uh, we're gonna say this slide up. So it's going to, once the animation is complete, it's gonna slide up. Let's see if that works. So I'm gonna click the box, fade, slide up. You see how that worked? Now, let's say uh, an element is disappeared and that would be the div with the class of hidden. So I'm just gonna copy this again. And just out here, I'm gonna say div class hidden and then slide down. This should make it appear on the screen. There you go, see how it slid down? You'd see it better if it had a background color or something like that, because right now it's just text. You're only just kind of seeing it kind of cascade down, but that's how that works. Now there's another one called slide toggle and it lets you toggle between slide up and slide down. So basically if it's hidden, then it will slide it down. If it's visible, it will slide it up, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and trigger uh, a button click. Uh, click when you, uh, when you click on the button on, on the HTML. There we go. Now when you click this button, we're going to toggle between uh, the box one Whoops, box one, uh, slide toggle. So now when you click the button, the box one will toggle the slide. So let's see what happens. It's gone, slide down. So slide up, slide down, slide up, slide down. And so that's how the different sort of uh, hiding and showing methods work in jQuery. Feel free to use them in your websites and your applications to achieve super simple animations while hiding and showing content. It's a much better user experience rather than having things appear and disappear dramatically without a fade or a slide. So that's where the hide and show, the fade, the slides, and the slide toggles come in handy in jQuery.